last time I invested with you guys, I got Ethereum. Yep. And I sold some of it to buy a watch. My first watch, actually. Mm. You guys saw on the show. Yep. Um, but when should somebody sell, you would say? You would say... Um, so a year and a half after the halving is the area where uh, the sell comes in. Now, me and Miguel have done yeah. uh, some what do you call it? Calculations on like where everything can go. And actually it was hilarious. We did a stream about maybe two or three weeks after that in June. And we said, okay, we think Bitcoin uh, at the peak of this bull market, um, a reasonable to kind of hot, a little bit higher price would be about $160,000 per Bitcoin um, somewhere between April of 2025 yep. to about uh, November of 2025. Got it. Most likely in October, but um, somewhere around there. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, if you have an idea of that, then you can be like, uh, and Pantera Capital said about 147,000 and around the same time period, uh, about two months later. Um, so it's interesting to see, you know, the, some of the, the best people in the space agreeing with us. But then if you're like, okay, I want to take profits, you're not going to sell everything on the day of the top. That's just dumb. Of course. Right. It's just not going to happen for most people. So um, instead, right, you can be like, okay, uh, I got 18 months after the halving. So about two years from now. Mm -hmm. right about nine months before the two-year mark right or even a whole year before the two-year mark so maybe like october of 2024 right you start taking some profits and you take profits on something uh, on the assets that have moved the most so if you bought bitcoin ethereum they let's say go up you know at uh, end of 24, Bitcoin starts breaking to new all-time right. highs. It's at $80,000, let's say, mm -hmm. right? End of next year. Then, okay, how many Xs did you make from, let's say, 25,000? About a 3X. So you could take a third of that, bank it. Now you cannot lose money, right? And then you take two-thirds of that. And then over that next, you know, nine months to a year period, um, then you scale it out on a weekly basis, monthly basis, um, quarterly yeah. basis, depending on how you want to do it. Smart. 